I'm hey, sorry. you know what? Get the hell out of here if you don't like this kind of uh, preaching. What? Then get the hell out of my church. I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. You know, I don't believe in a young earth. And then the big dumb animal, Keith Gomez, just sits there and listens to him preach this. The cult of Stephen Anderson is truly the gift that keeps on giving. What do I mean by that? Well, the fact that Anderson and all of his little underlings are completely unqualified to be in their position as pastor over the church that they uh, you know, want to pastor or basically rule over like Diotrephes. And I'm going to show you some proof of that in this video as if I haven't already proved that time and time again. Here in this video, Anderson is angrily kicking out an unrepentant church member and just look at the profanity he just throws at the guy, you know? And basically, you know, just you're disloyal to him, you're out, you're finished. That's not that's not how a pastor operates. That's how Diotrephes operates in Third John one, verse nine down to verse ten. Check this out. There's no point in you hearing what I have to say because you're never coming back to this church. Okay. You're done. Get the hell away from me. Okay, okay. you're an okay. evil yeah, person, and I never want to see you. Oh boy, but it gets better. Here's another funny clip, uh, but a little bit longer than the first one, where Anderson just totally loses it and has his rage fit at a disloyal church member for apparently visiting the home of somebody who's like an enemy of Anderson. Because see, when you're in the cult of Anderson, you can't, if he finds out you're going, uh, you're talking to his enemies, you're finished, you're done, you're out, you know? That's how, that's how a diatrophies operate. They want to have preeminence among the brethren. But just check this out. Look just how Anderson goes totally nuts. Yeah. Check this out. Okay, you know, I'm sick of your crap yeah. anyway. Okay? Yes, you do have it. You have an issue with me. Hey, you know what? You're one of the people that's always asking me stupid questions and grilling me. And you know what? You you you, you have an issue with me, and I'm sick of it. You're hanging out at Foster's house for two hours just so you don't bother calling me and asking my opinion. If you had a concern, why don't you bring it to me, okay? Right. If you have a concern, give me a call. It's funny how you can spend two hours at this house talking to him, but you can't contact me. I'm through putting up with people like you. You're out. Get out. I'm through putting up with people that are here. I'm sorry. Get out. I'm sick of people that are just here I'm not to figure out what's down. wrong with me and want to pick me apart. If you don't like it, then get out, okay? Get out. I'm not taking your side. I, I, I'm sitting here You're watching. not taking my side either. Get out, okay? Go find a pastor you can support and not be going around talking crap about me. You know, you, it's not enough that you go on. Well, I have to say, he pulled me aside and going soul winning and talk about how I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Very uncomfortable. Working through my stuff, I, I have issues, but I'm not trying to bring anybody Hey, down. we're done working through your stuff. Get out. I'm done. Look, are we done working through so stuff why? with people? <laughs> we just want to take people aside and talk crap. We were not. He was forcing me to listen to him, and I couldn't get a word in. I said, this is the Bible. Okay, okay was a kid today. He yelled at me. He made me mad. Oh, that was over. I thought that he forgot. Did you listen to the story? Did you listen to anything I said? I did. No, apparently he didn't. Did you listen to anything I said? Huh? This guy was in James Foster's front yard for two hours yesterday. Didn't bother calling me. Didn't bother asking me. Just over at the enemy's house for hours yesterday. And won't call me. What? You know my number? Why don't you call me? Why don't you talk to me? I'm going to you to sit here and preach for an hour and a half and pour it out my heart. And you're slumped over, smirking at me the whole time. And then I come up and say, hey, what's your issue? Uh, well, I just, uh, you know, I'm just concerned about this text. Then leave, okay? Leave. I'm done with your crap. Listen, I'm trying to grow in the Lord, and I'm not a perfect person, and I'm trying to keep this hey, stuff. there's 40 other independent Baptist churches. There are, there's 40 independent Baptist churches. They're all King James. I can show you 15 of them that go soul winning. 
you have an issue with me, and I'm done pastoring people like you. This is a new, everybody, we're in it, we're in it. for when you're sitting under Pope Stephen Anderson of the new IFB cult. Just this berating and just this railing and everything else against those who go against him. Because, after all, he wants to have the preeminence. preeminence. He is Diotrephes. So, I wanted to show you guys that. I was in the new IFB for almost three years, so I saw a lot of this stuff. How they treated Adam Fannin is pretty much the, the example I like to cite as what woke me up to the truth of the fact that this is a cult. And, and Anderson is a Pope-like dictator rather than a pastor. So anyway, don't be deceived by the new IFB, and don't be deceived by Pope Stephen Anderson. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.